Hi, I'm Roland Leggett from Insight Australia. And today I want to talk to you about using artificial intelligence in teams, really in the flow of work. I mean, wouldn't it be incredible if we could all be more productive? And teams has really changed the way that a lot of us work. When we all had to work remotely, some of us who hadn't used Teams or Skype or any of these tools before really got into video conferencing and Teams. And now we spend a lot of our days in that Teams environment. So when we look at Copilot in Office 365 being brought into Teams, what does it allow me to do? Well. I'll tell you a few of my favorite things. First is minutes for a meeting. When I have a Teams meeting, or there's even a Teams meeting I can't attend, what people often say is, record the meeting, I'll come back and watch it later. They don't come back and watch that 47 minute video at, at some later stage. What Teams will allow you to do is summarize that entire hour long meeting, give you minutes and give you to do items with an intelligent recap functionality. Now this has been around for, for some while for those of you who use Teams Premium, and there is a bit of an overlay between the functionality I get in Copilot and the functionality I get in the Teams Premium product. A couple of other things that it, it can do in Teams, there's the M365 chat functionality, which will allow you to aggregate multiple different data sources to a single conversation. So what does that mean? If uh, used M365 chat and said, what do I have to do for forward slash uh, Kira? It would actually go through my emails, it would go through my chats, my, comp my video conversations, uh, my, my project, my planner, my documents that are sitting in my Office 365 tenant and look for tasks that I have to complete. You can even check what you've got to do prior to a meeting. When you put the forward slash in the query, it will come up with a list of meetings, a list of people, and a list of documents. So, Outlook and Teams Copilot are by far my best Copilot. Let's go and have a look at a demo now of how we can use Copilot in the Teams environment. Imagine you have an appointment that conflicts with your weekly business review. What if you could do both? With Copilot, you can opt to follow a meeting and after the meeting ends, Copilot will summarize what you've missed. You can get a notification in Teams when the recap is ready. The recap will highlight content that was shared, summarize notes and any action items for you or others whose names were mentioned. You see that one of your customers was discussed and you want to learn more about it. You can ask Copilot clarifying questions and it provides a detailed response it can tell you what decisions were made and gives you helpful context. You can even ask Copilot what other solutions were considered and it provides citations from the transcript so you can see where Copilot drew these conclusions from. It's a huge time saver. So that's pretty cool, but the real magic happens during the live meeting. Let's say you're in a meeting with your team you can ask Copilot to summarize the meeting so far. You can see how it summarizes who said what, what points were made, and it really captures the spirit of the discussion. And as the meeting progresses, you can check in on, on where people stand, and you can even ask Copilot what questions are unresolved. It's just amazing to see this happen in real time during a meeting. Copilot can help you stay on top of it all. Summarizing Teams chats so you know what you missed. Here you were asked for an update on the customer and Copilot can help you there too. You can simply ask Copilot to create a summary of all the customer conversations. It produces a summary with citations so that you can verify the details to refine it as needed and post your update. You just received an invitation to brainstorm in a loop workspace. Loop is a multiplayer collaboration canvas with Copilot as an AI peer along with everyone else. Here the team is collaborating in real time on product offerings and pricing, adding notes and action items to each to keep everyone on track and up to date. You can ask Copilot to create a data set from Excel of the top selling products by category and it will analyze and fetch the relevant data and compile it in a table. 
Since this is a loop component, another member of the team can jump in and add a column for proposed discounts. Copilot even populates the data based on specific instructions. Anyone can prompt Copilot to build on each other's ideas collaboratively so that everyone can see from the prompt history how it arrived at its current state with the option of undoing any instructions. Now you can close out the action item and get ready for the meeting with the customer. So, as you can see, AI and Copilot take Teams to a whole new level. I mean, Teams is already a pretty awesome communication and collaboration tool, but with Copilot, you'll get summaries and to-dos from meetings. You'll never miss a meeting. You can aggregate content from multiple data silos together. So start using Copilot in Teams. It's one of my favorite places and we spend a lot of time in Teams and Copilot comes into that flow of work so that it's with you as your executive assistant attending every meeting and tell me if you notice what happens to me is that I, I, I've actually changed the way that, that, that I run meetings because at the end of the meeting I start creating a summary I'm not really talking to the other people in the meeting. I'm talking to Copilot so that it gets my summary correct. Thank you very much. Copilot in Teams is the way to go. Have a great day.